हेलो नमस्कार मेरा नाम है आरजे राज आप देख रहे हैं वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ नागपुर मोस्ट हैपनिंग फेसबुक लाइव शो राज की बात शो का नाम हेल्थ के साथ रेल मन थैंक और सिटी हॉस्पिटल फॉर सपोर्टिंग द शो एंड गेटिंग ऑल द बेस्ट ऑफ नॉलेज वेन इट कम्स टू हेल्थ टू यू डायरेक्टली आज मेरे साथ नागपुर शहर सेंट्रल इंडिया के जाने माने सीनियर ऑर्थोपेडिशियन है निखिल डॉक्टर निखिल करेंदीगर सर हमारे साथ सर निर्भय करेंदीगर सर हमारे साथ सर नमस्कार आए नमस्कार सर सर इट्स अ ऑनर इट्स अ प्लेजर टॉकिंग टू यू थैंक यू सर विथ दैट कंसर्न वेन वी वर डिस्कसिंग बिफोर द इंटरव्यू दैट द नंबर ऑफ एक्सीडेंट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग विच इज एन अलार्मिंग सिचुएशन ट्रू ट्रू Uh, so, uh, if you go back a couple of years, what we were finding is the kind of accidents we were getting were very low energy or low speed accidents mm. with better roads, better infrastructure, better vehicles, and everyone in a big, big hurry. Mm. And unfortunately, a very, very scant respect for any rules and regulations of traffic. Mm. I find the number of patients of trauma are increasing like crazy. Mm. Uh, as a citizen, it concerns me because a lot of man hours lost, a lot of money is lost in the whole thing, a lot of life lost, and. Lot of young people who are getting injured in these accidents mainly. It's a uh, you know kind of an epidemic on the roads these days, and I think every one of us knows someone who's had an accident. Such a waste of uh, time, money, everything. effort, everything. Everything. I think we all need to be really careful about following traffic rules. Traffic rules were made for our safety, and we should really follow them. There needs to be some more stringent action as far as breaking rules is concerned. and i'm wondering when all of us will wake up and understand that traffic rules are meant for our safety but so you've been traveling not just in uh, you know in in yeah. india but also abroad Can so I? you have seen people communicating you have seen traffic systems yeah. is that that you know do you think this concern is only for india or in uh, nagpur i think uh, i no i think it's all over india mm-hmm. i find mean, everyone says you know if you drive in pune you can drive anywhere in the world because yeah. the traffic is so terrible mm-hmm. uh, when you go abroad you find people really follow rules and what makes me wonder is if they can follow rules why can't we what's wrong with us what is wrong are we so into the fomo mm-hmm. more that you know mere ko nahi milega to main jaldi nahi pahunchega to mere ko milega nahi ji it's time we got over that i think Jee. all of us we need to really follow rules mm-hmm. in australia if you have a car it's like you're privileged to drive mm-hmm. so driving a vehicle on the road is a privilege mm-hmm. not just a right mm-hmm. i think it's time we understand that and i i think it's really time that we educate our masses about the need to stop breaking rules so flippantly Because sir uh, what do you think is the average number of people breaking their bones when it comes to you know, uh, so what's very funny is uh, it's a terrible statistic and you know india has just been to the moon mm-hmm. uh, two days ago and i'm absolutely proud, proud. of that uh, for that feeling that you absolutely have. but it's terrible to know that india is one of the top rankers when it comes to number of road accidents on road mm-hmm. so it is said very popularly that you know kasab if you remember uh, i think they he killed about 119.200 people right on the bombay fateful night but on an average 300 people all over india are dying every day because of accidents so we've got a kasab on indian roads every damn day and no one seems to really bother too much about it Mm-hmm. It's it's really bothersome. It's part of my job to treat patients with accidents, but right. um, yeah, I would love to see less of my work. Mm-hmm. Sir, so, uh, when it comes to Orion City Hospital, yeah. what are the best practices you offer as an right. you know senior orthopedist? Uh, I think uh, what we are uh, we pride ourselves in Orion City, especially is about uh, uh, if you want to call it, shall we say, our response time to an accident patient is fantastic. We have a very very strong. Uh, intensive care backup and the we call it a door to needle time so it's mm-hmm. you know from the time the patient enters the door to the time he actually gets his needle for the first iv fluid we are trying to cut down that time to less and lesser time so that the response time so normally kya hota hai ki aap kisi hospital mein jaate ho wo patient wahan pe pada rehta hai aur fir wo aadhe ghante baad ek ghante baad wo koi doctor sahab aake to dekhte hain here we are pride ourselves in saying that as soon as you hit the door mm-hmm. the door to injury time or the door to injection time is about 3 minutes or so mm-hmm. we have a very strong backup here from the icu and i think uh, this is going to be the way forward uh, what i find is that most of the patients that we see these days are patients you know who have some comorbid issues kisi ko diabetes hai kisi ko angioplasty ho sakta hai kisi ko bypass ho sakta hai Uh, it is so much easier to handle these patients or treat them well and properly when you have a full team backing you up, a strong intensive care team, a very strong anesthetist backup team, 
a great operating theater and of course a great team in the orthopedic department as well. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the food habits, earlier mm -hmm. when you were a child and or I was into yeah, that that's age. Very long, I was a child, very yeah. long ago. Yeah, but then the, the kind of food quality we used to intake and right, now right. the kind of food you know these youngsters yes, or yes. you know these children are taking yes. so do you think the orthopedic will play a very important role in the coming days I, I think so i think so so two three things are happening so when we got our independence in about 1947 the average lifespan of an indian was about 39 years yeah? mm. but today every house has a patient or a person in the house who's 80 years old or 85 years old uh, as an as a society, we are living longer and we will find more and more problems of being elderly as time goes by. One of the ways, unfortunately, uh, the way to our grave, unfortunately, is through the hip. So if you open that book, you'll see that you come into the world through the pelvis and usually go out to this world through a hip fracture, mm -hmm. which is rather unfortunate. Uh, so we seem to be exercising lesser, we seem to be going for junk food more. Uh, we seem to be having some more uh, vices than our ancestors had. So uh, I think food was better, was purer, exercise was more common. My own grandfather was riding a cyclic he was till he was 89 years old. He would stay in a banker nagar and go to Google paid for half a pao of sabji. But uh, he was cycling till then. I think very few of us are cycling as much as they do. Mm -hmm. So we will find definitely we are living longer, but our habits are poorer. So we will find definitely a geriatric amount of uh, orthopedic load coming up in the near future. Mm -hmm. Sir, so, um, when it comes to uh, the you know the technology playing a role in the orthopedic side of uh, you know doctoring where uh, you know the fractures have now become you know there are instruments which have been used to make good fractures true, true. there are you know these bones which can be used by just a piece of you know a steel or an iron thing you know where yeah. you can you know, screw it up and you know make right. it but but with this uh, the natural uh, friction of the body does that hamper Okay, so uh, I get a, a lot of questions especially because I personally am extremely passionate about complex trauma and I'm extremely passionate about high energy trauma and my whole team of orthopedic surgeons here uh, are extremely passionate about looking after patients who are terribly injured and trying to get them back on their feet fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what has happened over the years is that we've got more uh, technology coming in, we've got more uh, smaller incisions come in, we got better instruments, we got better implants and implants which do uh, well because they hold on to the bone for a good time, mm -hmm. uh, they don't corrode inside the body and they don't really cause any reactions to the mm -hmm. body per mm -hmm. se mm -hmm. and uh, because of that uh, it is becoming easier to treat our patients, for example it has become easier for me to, I am a pelvic acetabular surgeon as I said, so when you go down inside the pelvis and you want to fix up a bone from inside the pelvis it has become so much easier now with the technology that we have. Mm -hmm. so, uh at Oran City Hospital, you did mention that you know yeah. your best practices and the you know the preparedness you have for yeah. any uh, patient. But coming back to the accident side of it, mm -hmm. sir, so when it comes to emergencies, uh, there are also been observed that small hospitals are also on a deathbed. Oh my God, they are. Uh, small hospitals unfortunately are dying. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are definitely going to die in the future, and uh, it's got more to do with. The ability of the larger hospitals to cater and look after their patients better, perhaps. Uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, chalak malak ki tarah type ka hai karakram. In a smaller hospital, what happens is the surgeon who's looking after, he's also the physician, he's also uh, the person who's dressing the patient. Mm -hmm. And it is going to become more difficult for him to single handedly manage elderly patients who have other diseases like diabetes. Absolutely. So we have a lot of patients these days, you know, who have got, as I said, comorbidities and you will need someone to look after them and uh, can, if as an orthopedic surgeon will I look after orthopedics or will I look after his sugar? So if I have a backup available for uh, someone who look after that part of the patient, I can concentrate purely on my But sir, a misconception is that big hospitals, they charge big. I think you know okay so that's a good point you know uh, so nothing in the world is free mm. nothing in the world is free right. I think uh, it's a good thing that more Indians are able to purchase healthcare mm. I think more Indians especially after COVID have gone and understood that insurance is a huge part of our 
healthcare program and I think insurance penetration is growing in leaps and bounds and okay. that's really great for society because uh, unlike the western world where the government look, looks after you completely, uh, your insurance is one major player of how you can afford your healthcare. So with insurance penetration and it becomes easier for patients to access larger hospitals mm -hmm. and access better uh, technologically better cure and care as well. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point of time, the smaller hospital will struggle to get technology in because the cost benefit ratio is not going to be really awesome. So, a larger hospital will give you perhaps better quality care, is what I'm feeling. Sir, so, uh, coming back to you know accidents and you know breaking the bones and things like that. Sir, so, there has been situations with people that people have been very negligent with their uh, you know pain in the knee or the, mm -hmm. you know a knee pain or a joint pain or things yeah. like that and you know with a certain period of you know after a certain period of mon months or years they have faced big problems right so when it comes to negligence what's right. your thought on that so uh, two things come to mind number one is raj bhai aisa hai ki 50000 ki mun gaadi chalegi तो सर चक्का तो घिसेगा ना पचास हजार नहीं घिसेगा तो साठ पे तो पक्का ही घिसेगा सत्तर पे ब्लास्ट हो जाएगा <laughs> तो उसी प्रकार से जैसे आपकी उम्र बढ़ती है तो देर इज गोड बी सम वेयर एंड टेयर ऑफ द ज्वाइंट एंड दैट इज समथिंग एज ए सेट इन दर्लियर डेज वन यू आर स्टेइंग फॉर अ लाइफ ओनली फोर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ एज कम्पेयर टू टूडे यू आर स्टेइंग अ लाइफ फॉर एटी ईयर सो देर आर गुड बी सम प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एजिंग एज यू ग्रो ओल्डर एंड ट्वेल्व द क्वेश्चन इज यू नीड योर क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ टू बी सुपर द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ लाइफ मेरे ख्याल से किसी के हाथ में है नहीं सो इफ यू आर फिट यंग पर्सन एंड यूर सिक्सटी फाइव योर नीज आर पेनिंग आई थिंक इट्स अ गुड टाइम टू अंडर गो जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट एंड वी डू आर जॉइंट हेयर जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट हेयर नंबर वन दो विच वी कैन हेल्प सर्वाइव एंड दोज विच वी कैन हेल्प सेव यू टेल की फोल्ड ऑन वी ट्राई एंड सेव योर नीड फॉर सम टाइम एंड देन वी चेंज इट लेटर ऑन Uh, in those patients, sometimes unfortunately, who come to us very late, we have to change them. That's number one. Number two is what I find is that, as I said earlier, our exercise levels are lesser. We are more aware, but perhaps exercising lesser. Everyone feels here. So, if it's a morning walk, okay, so everything is fine. But that's not really true. You need to build muscle. You need to build bone. You need to build it. And what better way to do it than to exercise? Mari, बचपन में ना दादी बोला करती थी. आप पढ़ाई नहीं करोगे दिमाग का इस्तेमाल नहीं करोगे दिमाग छोटा हो जाएगा उसी प्रकार से ये सच है कि अगर आप मसल्स का इस्तेमाल नहीं करोगे मसल विल बिकम स्मॉलर एंड यू विल लैंड अप समथिंग कॉल्ड एज सार्कोपीनिया सो योर मसल स्ट्रेंथ विल गो डाउन एंड इफ योर मसल स्ट्रेंथ गोज डाउन द रिस्क ऑफ फॉलोइंग एंड इंजरिंग सो मच आयर सो माई लास्ट क्वेश्चन वन इज अबाउट विथ you know now india being the youngest nation in the coming yeah, time yeah. we'll also become the oldest nation yeah true, which true. is which true. is somewhere you know threatening right now only true. with with people do have this thing so arthritis after diabetes is oh it's going to be a big uh, yeah we are big thing yeah so it's 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 an alarming situation right now true. only where people are feeling the young young people who are facing issues like arthritis yeah so what's your thought so uh, in the olden days you know what used to happen is if i remember my uh, great grandma mm -hmm. uh, meri jo panji thi to wo uh, she was pretty much happy being confined to home and uh, you know walking around with bow legs and mere ka sabke ghar mein kabhi na kabhi to aise ek aji rahi hogi hai some grandmother rahi hogi par aajkal ki ajiyan jo hai na wo they want to go to kedarnath and they want to go to vishnu devi they also want to go to kenya to enjoy the safari there now uh, what is happening is we are living longer uh, we are not focusing so much on uh, exercise and uh, we want to do more with our knees mm -hmm. so uh, you really need to focus on getting your muscle strength in place and you really need to focus on exercise from a very beginning it's really great to see a lot of effort taken from schools into you know pushing the kids into sports in early days and i think that's a good for the society as well because you'll have more kids i find more of my patients come and tell me you know he's a basketball player or he's a, a good uh, badminton player and jo pehle tha ki bhai engineer or doctor ban jao aaj ke log bolte hai ki nahi main badminton player banna chahta hu main cricketer banna chahta hu which is really great for society i think we do well in the future i think india is going to be rocking so so my last question one message to all the people out there jo uh, emergency ke time par thode se is baat ko samajh nahi pate ki warren city hospital patient ko kyun lekar aaye 
माय फर्स्ट एंड ओनली मैसेजेस या तो आप चिंता करो या मैं करूँ uh, आप जब ऑरेंज सिटी हॉस्पिटल आते हैं तो चिंता और डर बाहर गेट पे छोड़ के आइए बाकी हम पे छोड़ दीजिए सर आपने अपना वक्त दिया आपने हमसे बात करी आपने ये बहुत बहुत सारे इम्पोर्टेंट मुद्दे थे जिन पर यू नो आपने रोशनी डाली और सर जो असल दर्द है लोगों के मन में वो यही है कि हर तरफ काले बादल हैं जो अज्ञानता का स्वरूप है लेकिन आप उस अज्ञानता में रोशनी का काम कर रहे हैं आपने अपना <laughs> अपने अपना वक्त दिया आपने वो रोशनी डाली और वो रोशनी लोगों तक आज पहुंची उसके लिए बहुत बहुत थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर निर्भय करंदी का सर सर से मुलाकात हुई बात हुई ये अपने आप में एक सौभाग्य की बात है लेकिन ये इंटरव्यू आप अगर लोगों तक पहुंचाएंगे तो आप एक्चुअली में लोगों के जीवन में वो रोल आज प्ले करेंगे जिनकी शायद उन्हें जरूरत हमेशा से थी भारत एक युवा देश है लेकिन आने वाले दिनों में भारत एक वृद्ध देश बनने वाला है उसकी तैयारी हमें मानसिक रूप से आदि करनी होगी लेकिन शारीरिक रूप से भी करनी होगी अपने मसल स्ट्रेंथ पे काम करना होगा अपने फूड हैबिट्स पे काम करना होगा अपने यू नो मेंटल हेल्थ पे काम करना होगा और पूरी तरीके से अपने आप पर इतना कंट्रोल करना होगा कि अगर हम रॉन्ग वे जा रहे हैं तो हम खुद यू टर्न मार के राइट वे बना लें क्योंकि जो रॉन्ग वे आता है उसके साथ एक्सीडेंट जरूर होता है और जब हड्डी टूटती है ना साहब तो आप सोचिए जिंदगी एक तरीके से उस पटरी पे आ जाती है जब आप लाचार हो जाते हैं और दुनिया आपके बारे में विचार करना छोड़ देती है जिंदा रहें जय हिंद